Hey friends, it's not a spy again here showing you one of the battle replays I had with my good friend. Uh, to, uh, this is Greenskins versus Chaos. I was the Greenskin side, of course. Um, Greenskins are my favorite, Chaos are his favorite. I'm trying not to move the camera too much. Hopefully, we can give you a little bit of a breakdown, a play by play, army composition, uh, kind of talk through my strategies at the time. I don't know what his were precisely, but uh, yeah be a little bit of fun so uh, I would like to apologize at the beginning of this I know the frames gonna randomly drop and for that I do apologize my PC is a bit older and the game runs like shit just by me playing it by myself let alone trying to record it so first let's take a look at my army I have the oh, I'm moving really fast I'm moving really fast so to start out I got two orc boy biggins or, or orc boy boy biggins this is orc cavalry it's slow but it hits like a truck and they have they have fuck you they have uh anti-large so they're good against other cav they're a great anti-cav choice i have the doom diver catapult which is my favorite artillery piece in the game it's goblins shooting goblins at the opponent and so their ammunition is literally the people operating that. And that's why they only have 22 shots. I think that's pretty funny. For my main line, I brought two basic orc boys, cheapest orc infantry other than goblins. Um, they were there with shields and to kind of just move up and test the waters. On the flanks, I brought orc boy biggins. And on the rear flanks as well. Um, biggins are just like those. They're just not on the boards um, they're bigger in either meaning they hit like a truck they're stronger they have better armor or they don't have better armor but still they're stronger and they have that anti-large bonus in case he tried any shenanigans with cav or knowing chaos bringing a bunch of monstrous infantry and my middle line i brought a night goblin shaman with the Lore of the Little Wall, which is a buff and debuff type magic. I brought a unit of regular goblin archers. They have terrible accuracy, terrible range, low morale, but they shoot fast. And then the Rusty Airs, which are slightly better than regular goblin archers, a little bit better leadership. Main reason I brought them, they have poison attacks and they have armor sundering. And what armor centering is, is they each time they hit the opponent, the opponent's armor decreases. So that allows weak units like orc boys to stand a chance against really elite chaos units. Uh, going a little bit further back, we have my black orcs. We're going to zoom in on them because I fucking love black orcs. Uh, they're just covered head to toe in metal, uh, heavily armored, do a lot of damage. They're dealing. 30 armor piercing damage, they just hit like a fucking truck. And then last, well, not last, but in the rear, we have the nasty skulkers, these ugly little fucking goblins. Um, they have stalks, and my opponent doesn't even see them until it's too late. Very fast, and they all have weapon piercing. So they deal a lot of weapon piercing damage. They have a high model count of 80 models, a uh, high HP pool. They're great for just throw it at armored units and watch them die especially if they're elite because their numbers are so high the elite units can't deal with it last but most definitely not least our general right in the front lines i couldn't it wouldn't let me position him this far up i don't know why but it is green gore iron hide and in his hands is git snicker it's for snick and gits uh the man the myth the legend look at that face look at that scar Biggest and greatest to work of all time in fantasy. Just all around a badass. And that's kind of the army I'm bringing. Scrolling over to, and we're gonna just, actually we won't slam though. Scrolling over to my friend, Zero Zenpai is his name in this, so we'll just keep it at that. He has brought and chosen badass looking chaos units. Look at them there with their flesh covered shields and shit. Uh, those are on the left flank, and then regular Chaos Warriors. They're still pretty humanoid, not full demon and not flesh-covered. 
just a giant fucking line of Chaos Warriors. Two Hell Cannons with Chaos Dwarfs. Chaos Dwarfs are the ones that fire the cannons. Look up, they're fucking ugly. And then, very gently, over here we have some Armored Chaos Trolls. They're ugly, they're angry, they're pissed. They want to kill some shit with those giant ass clubs. And over here we have, uh, I'm dropping frames, I know, I'm sorry. We have two units of Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes for that armor piercing damage, armor piercing missiles. Um, big harass, big harass coming. And last but not least, the legendary frame rate dropping. Zooming in on face, Prince Sigvold the Magnificent. He is magnificent in his golden armor and mirrored shield and just a beautiful person. And he's good. He's actually a really good duelist. Um, he's armored and shielded and melee expert and just he's a good 1v1 fighter. The issue is, is the strongest 1v1 fighter in the game it always will be is Grimthor Ironhide because he's the biggest and the best. So now we're going to hit play. So opening up, we have this giant hill in the middle. I couldn't see any of the units over here. I could barely see some of those and out of nowhere, two fucking just hell bolts right there. Those biggins just lost eight models, probably about a quarter of their HP. Not fun. But uh, they kind of pick themselves up, brush off the dust, and they're uh, ready to try back at it. Now when I moved up, I noticed those. At that point, I started rotating these board boys just to see and really take a look at his positions. Um, here's a tip. Unless you're playing dwarfs, don't ever do this formation. Ever, ever, ever. It's okay to have units in reserve, but you kind of want to keep it in lines. Box formations um, are bad because once... It allows your opponent to focus a single side, and once that side's pierced, it just collapses. Um, this game, he doesn't do it too bad, and he has better infantry for it. Just another fucking gross hit. Oh, and the Skulkers as well. But look at that goblin, red and high, just, oh. We're gonna actually watch this with some chaos. We're watching the horizon. These fucking orcs look they're so armored and strong they can take direct hits and not lose models like just like that most other infantry units that would have taken out all of those guys but chosen just kind of stand back up it's fine we're heavily armored all the while he's still shooting at me but because of this hill he loses his line of sight uh, because how far up his uh, units are Oh, oh, and we're getting ready. We're crossing the hill. Look at this infantry. Look at the charge. And at this point, I saw his line, and I'm like, fuck it, let's go. And he's moving, you can see it over here, he's moving cavalry in the background. Um, he's trying to reposition these, so I actually break off a unit of biggins and board boy biggins prepared for that to happen. So I start driving uh, all my magic. Um, to buff my units up and make his weaker. I accidentally got my archers in melee combat here. Just watch Orc and Goblin alike get slaughtered by the Chosen. Uh, if you see there uh, in the description it shows fresh, that is the vigor of the unit. Um, units get tired in this and that affects their morale and stats as well. Here we have the boys and regular boys and Prince Sigvald and there there's Grimgore himself just laying down the smackdown, just ugh, chopping through him. Prince Sigvald, he's kinda standing back, making sure his men are doing their job. He wants some action, he goes in, he goes for the kill. He's trying to get to Grimgore. And I bring in my second infantry wave at this point. Knowing that the first wave's kind of crumbled, it was weaker infantry, but his are tired now. Bringing in the black orcs, bringing in the hurt. 
over here his marauders are getting prepared but i think he had a missed micro here um, these warriors are falling apart sigvald slicing through the black orcs black orcs are getting good hits in just total war Warhammer. so i seeing him there thought i'd catch him off guard and just fucking charge him now he wasn't prepared he missed microed it Boy, boy, biggins get in there. They're just gonna slaughter, absolutely slaughter these chaos marauders. Here, uh, I still have the biggins in reserve in case the marauders charged. I honestly thought those were chaos knights, not marauders, so that concerned the shit out of me. Um, I started rushing my boy boys up. Um, the hell cannons were still shooting and doing a lot of damage, so I was trying to get rid of them. These fucking chosen are not dying. They are just holding this line, even against the biggins. Still having to buff and debuff, and you've got the Skulkers fighting, and everything's fighting. Balance of power is slightly in my favor, and I think that's just because I've chewed through his front line. We've got Grimgore up here. Grimgore's deciding to just kind of watch the fighting. He turns around. He wants a little piece of the action. He's going in to kick some ass. I got my archers over here starting to pepper and really annoy the fuck out of these chaos warriors. What's these chosen? Are they they're still they're just tired. Just oh at that point I was like, fuck me. Those chosen are gonna kill through like three lines of infantry. So I uh changed my goblins. They're gonna keep firing and holding them back. The big ones actually held through that. Surprised the shit out of me. Brought my last loot unit of biggins in reserve. I was kind of scraping the bottle of the barrel here. I thought he was going to win, to be honest. His units were just superior to mine. But that magic and the debuff and Grimgor killing Sigvald here is what made a huge difference. His trolls also broke frequently because they were fighting the biggins, and the biggins gave that uh, anti infantry bonus. So he pulled his uh, infantry to charge me, and at that time, that's when I was able to get in kill the cannons. Chosen are still holding their ground, but now that their leader's dead, uh, we're able to kind of change focus. So he only has the warriors and the trolls. The trolls are about to charge into biggins, and biggins fucking love. Look how big they are. They're as, almost as big as the trolls. They're fighting side by side against these trolls. They're kicking ass. He did bring his cavalry back around. I didn't really watch that. That was Miss Micro on my part. And there he's just like, fuck it. And he starts killing some goblins with that hook and it's But the Black Orcs are running free. Grimgore's running free. The Boar Boys are in the back line. Boar Boys are going to finish off Prince Sigvald. And here I'm just bringing over the nasty Skulkers to try to fucking finish off these Chosen. God damn. Chosen are just such a strong unit. You can't kill them. They stay forever. Like, they're definitely worth their value. It's just, you can't bring as much. You can get swarmed really easy using Chosen. Uh, so he only has a handful of Chaos units left now. Uh, my army's by no means in any better pieces, but at that point it was mostly just Grimgore's unwillingness to die. Oh, and look at the black orcs. They're covered head to toe the blood, but they fucking love it. They fucking love it. The nasty hell cannons. And at that point, it was basically game. Um, hell cannons are unbreakable, so if an opponent's unbreakable, you have to kill it. You have to kill all their unbreakable units before it's game, even if everything's else ratted off. But yeah, that was um, that was where we won. And so that was that breakdown. Uh, all in all, how did we do? We had... I've deployed 700 to his 400. So once again, he had more elite units, but numbers won the day for me. I had 320 to his 116, so still very close. He actually lost fewer units than me. Um, if we look at our kills, Grimgore got 45 kills and Sigmar got 45 kills. That's funny. How did those Chosen do? 123 kills on those Chosen. Holy fuck. That's amazing. 
all my the boys did nothing the skulkers didn't do a whole lot the biggins didn't do a whole lot and his units his units had more individual kills but if you add all mine together i think these biggins the ones that got the charge into the cavalry fucked them up and they had no kills so they didn't prove their value this hell cannon was a lot of money and it only got nine kills same with the chaos trolls armored like that's a lot of money spent that didn't get any value out of it same with these though granted these killed chosen so 15 chosen and even then they still killed a lot fuck me that hell cannon was definitely worth it though that one did its damage uh, I would have if I would have done this differently if I was in his shoes I probably would have only used the one hell cannon cut out both of these I would have brought cav for the cav battle and brought some cheaper infantry uh, forsaken as well forsaken can kill biggins forsaken can kill everything forsaken can actually put up a good fight against black orcs even but yeah and then a wizard because my night goblin should even uh what won that for me was my night goblin constantly buffing my soldiers to put them and uh debuffing his put them on comparable levels but uh yeah that's gonna be the end of this video remember to rate like comment subscribe and we will see you guys next time peace